Hi, this is Matt with Artist Hardware and the Sensu Brush. And I wanted to uh, just show you a couple of cool little um, additions to uh, Procreate, which is one of our favorite apps here at Artist Hardware. And they have uh, recently done um, an upgrade to the app, and uh, the version we're looking at is 1.7.1. And I'm open. This is a drawing that I did the other day, and I'm just going to show you. Uh, it's got a bunch of uh, layers in it here. I can kind of turn them on and off. You can see that's some of the line art there, um, line art over that, and this is the little guy that's carrying off the the two in 2012. That's some of the color. Okay, so you see those. Um, so I'm not going to show you everything that's new in this. I'm just going to show you a couple of uh, cool little things within the. Uh, uh, user interface, which is really nifty. So, um, say we wanted to add um, another layer. So you could tap the plus button and get another layer like that, which is the way it's been. Um, you can. So that's nothing new. But this is new. You, when you swipe left on top of a layer, you can copy the contents of it. You can duplicate the layer, or you can delete it. So let's delete that because there's another way to get a layer. So they, they've got some great multi-touch stuff, and I think you're going to see a lot more multi-touch um, coming to all your apps, not uh, just drawing apps. But um, it, it's definitely uh, something people are trying to figure out how to use even better. So now you can just pinch and zoom, or pinch, not no zooming, just pinch, and you get a new layer. Great, right? So let's um, let's add some color in here. Have a brush going. It's just the Jasinki brush. So we've added that. Well, you know what? We want to see. We want to change the opacity on that. You can um, now just double touch with your fingers, two finger touch, and you can adjust the opacity by swiping left and right. So going left decreases the opacity, going right increases it. We can go back there and say, uh, well, what do we want? We don't, we don't like that, right? So let's swipe and get rid of that. We're really happy with um, what we have here. So in this case, we've got um, two layers that are both line art. Well, it makes sense if, if these were um, what well, could make sense if these were in one layer. So let's merge them. Let's just pinch them together. And that gets merged, right? So now we can tap on it. You can see it's both been merged. You can undo this if you decide you've made a uh, horrible, horrible mistake. You can go back and tap that, and you've got that, right? Well, guess what? You don't have to go that way. You can use a three-finger touch and undo. Right? So swipe left will undo, tap swipe right will redo. So when I go back, that's got the merge layer. Let's swipe, doop, doop, go back, and we go back, and oh, still merge layer, hold on. Oh, I lied. There's the undo, da ding! Okay, you just gotta get it enough times, I guess. Um, and we're going to go back and redo the merge layers. So it got, it got a little feedback down there. Sorry, I've got like faulty fingertips. And let's see, what else did I want to show you? I just, we adjust the opacity, the pinch apart. You've got all your normal controls over here. I think we'll, we're going to merge these two layers down here. And uh, there you go. And you probably already know about the background one. I'll show you anyway. Um, you can now adjust the color. So like in some, you know, many apps, you can take a paint bucket and drop color in the background. Uh, they just have a, a separate background layer that you can um, just select your color from there. It's pretty, pretty nice. I think that yellow is not super nice. Ooh, that's what that looks like. Ooh, weird. Not good. That's Oh, they've got all these things down here too. Forgot about that. A bunch of. Well, let's go back here. Uh, I don't know why I liked it white. So go back to white. There you go. Anyways, this is Procreate, and it's um, a great app. It's got uh, 
you know, they're, they're starting to do some really cool stuff with this multi-touch stuff. And Happy New Year! So this is January of 2013. Happy New Year, and we hope it's a great year for you. Bye!